then I am headed to the local grocery store to pick up one more carton of chicken livers. I did not lay out the chicken legs because I need those chicken legs for a science experiment with the children. So I need more chicken livers to fry tonight. And so I'm heading to the store for that. And also I want to go buy the thrift store that's right next door and browse for a little bit so I can um, have a little break. Uh, meanwhile, I want to talk with you about um, this little diet that I am trying out. I believe it was last week or the week before. I'm confused now. Uh, I started some exercises um, through T-TAP. It's T hyphen T-A-P-P. -P. And um, remarkably doing just these simple exercises and not very many of them I have seen tremendous results so a few uh, people have commented on how much better I look and all of it is from T-TAP I have only however lost just a few pounds um, recently and but I have lost quite a few inches well a few inches I won't say quite a few a few inches so I um, also have not had to take any pain medicine for arthritis in nine days or no way seven ten ten or eleven days I can feel it a little bit in my knees lately, but to be completely honest, the past two days I have not done very many exercises. So I need to up my game on that. But uh, while I was researching T-TAP, uh, I came across the diet that Miss Teresa Tapp suggests people do um, it's not necessary to lose inches, however, it will um, excel your success in weight loss and inch loss. And that's the God-made, man-made diet. And um, what she was saying mainly, and I believe this does apply to me, um, is that whenever you go on a low-calorie diet, and especially if you do it for a um, considerable, considerable amount of time, it can mess up your metabolism. And uh, if you are on a low carb diet for a, a considerable amount of time, it will um, make it to where the energy that you burn comes from your muscle and not your fat. Uh, she was saying, though, that with a system, it also ups your metabolism uh, as well. So you don't count any calories. You just simply eat what you would like, except on two, for two days you're going to eat God-made food. That means nothing out of a package, nothing that has very many or any preservatives. And um, uh, you can have bread, but it needs to be high multi-grain type bread. Uh, she has a few bread suggestions. I'm sure eventually on a God-made day I will eat bread, but um, we'll see how long it takes before I do, because I can have it on the third day, which you do two God-made days, one man-made day. Two God-made days, one man-made day. And once you get to the uh, goals that you have set for yourself, then you can go every other day to maintain. So that is what 
I am doing, but on the God made days, I was thinking, oh, potatoes, no problem. I can just have potatoes and, um, and corn and all, and I'll be set. Well, no, she suggests that you not have the potatoes and corn on God made days, even though if they are technically God made because of the high glycemic index. And so um, that's what I'm doing is trying to stay away from that and um, see how it works out. This is day two, it's 3.05. I'm doing great because like I said, you can eat whatever you want. I mean, you can eat as much as you want. You just have to make sure you stay within the parameters of what she restricts. And it is online. There's a PDF that you can download of her brochure that explains more about it. Um, and several of her exercises are on uh, YouTube. They even have a YouTube channel, TTAP Incorporated, I think, but it's easy to find. And so I thought I would share because I know a lot of us are on the same journey and getting healthier or slimmer or whatever. So I thought I'd share. Talk with you later. Bye.